okay bismillah Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We will do our class from here insyaallah today. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I will I will start with from his um, classes from from his from his um, talk uh, directly insyaallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So he says hafizahullah ta'ala wa damallahu nafa'ahu fi da fi na fi darin. May Allah preserve him. And he says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. All praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has narrated to us true stories for us to be beautified with goodness and to be, to be, to be beautified and to be uh, clothed with goodness and to affirm and to actualize all this goodness and these lessons in ourselves. And we ask Allah to send the salawat, the, the, um, the mercy and the blessings of Allah and the salams, the salutations of Allah onto his slave, the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who was honored by only ever uttering what is true, and onto his family and companions, who were the first and the foremost, uh, who rushed to the blessing of guidance, and onto those who followed them in excellence, and onto the ancestors and the brethren of the, of the chosen prophet, meaning all the prophets from amongst his ancestors and his brethren, and onto their families and companions, and those who followed them, and the angels who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and all the righteous slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and unto us, and with them, O Allah, O the most generous of all, Ya Akram al-Akramin, Ya Arham al-Rahimin, and to proceed. Indeed, we are contemplating over the verses in the Qur'an, in Surah A'raf, and we are currently on the story of a people who transgress all boundaries, Boundaries in the Sharia, in the secret law, boundaries in nature, and boundaries in the natural disposition that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has placed on, uh, has placed in all human beings. That, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, that from the from the moment He created the first human being, He created Nabi Adam alayhi salam. He had created human beings in pairs. Male and female, as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran, for indeed Allah has created you from one person, from one self, and then created from this self his partner, and it has spread through the earth, uh, and spread from from a, from the two of them, the man and the woman, I right, spread through the earth, many men and many women all over the earth, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has created the creation, uh, has created for the creation, a halal or a permissible way for them to satisfy. Their desires and their lusts, right, from their from their from their eating desires to their sexual desires, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given human beings a way to satisfy these things in 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 what is what in what is um beautiful and what is um permissible by the laws of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has made this way to be between specifically for, for what is sexual that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this way to be between the two different genders between the male and the female such that she, and such that from this from this interaction and from this um and from this intimacy between the man and the woman in the way of marriage that that all a lot of goodness comes forth and that the human species Will continue in and 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 it will and and progeny will continue through the day of judgment until when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has decreed for the blowing of the horn and the destruction of this entire world as we know it, and so in this we see here is a test on men, right? In in his sexual desires, right? In his in in what Allah has placed inside all human beings that they have these desires in them, is a test for them. Where will they go? With these desires, how will they fulfill their desires? How will they respond to their desires? They have a halal way that Allah has laid out for them, and they have a haram way that 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 is also shown to them by the enemies, um, by by the shaitan and by the enemies of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. There are two ways: the halal and the haram. And, and which way will they go? And which way will human beings choose? Will they ch- will they be patient and choose what is halal, or will they be impatient and hasty? And, and, and fulfill the desires and go with what is haram. And that people in this world, like Muslims and non-Muslims, 
people in this world they know human beings if any form of intellect you know any human being with any bits of intellect know that if this world was completely a free world for anyone to follow their desires however they like and to fulfill their desires or their lusts like fully in whatever way would please them then any human being with even a, a shred of intellect would know that this would lead to terrible corruption on the earth it will lead to terrible destruction and corruption in societies and in 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 in, in human beings on this earth and a human society knows that there always has to be limits and boundaries and rules and regulations placed on human beings muslim and non muslim there always have to be limits and boundaries rules and regulations placed on human society for there to be a healthy development of mankind and society and humanity and for there to be a healthy environment for the upbringing of the young Right, so it is. It is that any human society would know this. Right? Limits and boundaries are in, essential. That if human beings were to be allowed to do whatever they want to do, then that will only spell destruction for all for all in society, and even in them wanting to fulfill this terrible type of lust that they have now recognized uh, to be, and and they have they've they've wrongfully and 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 deceivingly labeled to be a right of a human being. It is not the right of a human being to go against the laws of nature that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed. Right? But but even in this in these people, even in, in those who are disbelieving, even in them wanting to fulfill this terrible type of lust, they themselves find themselves having to break the rules and regulations uh in many societies right so even in non muslim lands they have now to fight and and, and they're trying to fight and to, and to 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 break all these rules and now they can't find a line right? they can't find a line as to where where the boundaries now has to be placed they can't there's no more boundaries now and now with no more boundaries even more evil is spread to the land right? that is beyond um um uh homosexuality even more evil that is now that people are pushing to make to, to be made right, like pedophilia and so on. They're now trying to 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 f- use the way that homose- that homosexuality has used to try and push their agenda to make what is completely and utterly disgusting and wrong to become right. And this this is the way of the Dajjal to make what is completely wrong to be completely right and what is completely right to be completely wrong he will make he has as, as Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said that the Dajjal will come with a Jannah and his Jannah is Jahannam and he will come with a Jahannam and his Jahannam is Jannah right? Dajjal he will he will he will flip the entire thing back and uh, opposite right? so people will, will think what is what is right is wrong and what is wrong is right and this is what they have been they, they are doing right now like in breaking all these laws and now they have they have they have, they have removed these laws, you know, all these limits and, and boundaries. Then now there's there are no boundaries, and now that the oppression and the and the the abuse is so widespread, right? In 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 the many societies in the world that we live in today, and that this matter is really it is purely about fulfilling desires and lusts, and it's nothing about the betterment of society. It has nothing to do with the development of, of mankind or society. There is no absolutely no benefit. Right in this agenda that they are pushing on to societies, what is the benefit? Right? what is the what is the higher goal? What is the higher aim? What is the higher, you know, improvement in in humanity? Right? why do they call this progress? What is the progress? What what do they actually achieve in allowing all of these things to to be to be uh, legal in society? What do they actually achieve? Right? Do they achieve um, stability? Do they achieve um, a goodness? Do they achieve a healthy environment? They don't achieve any of these things. Right? But it's basically just those people who want to fulfill their desires and their lusts. Right? It's worse than, that they are worse than, than, than animals. Right? That they, they, they now f- push it forward, but there is absolutely no benefit at all. At all. Right? There is no benefit. In fact, there is harm and there is destruction in what they are pushing forward. Right? And that this matter is purely... Right, about fulfilling desires and lusts and nothing about benefiting other people and nothing about benefiting society. So their seeking to engage in their lustful behavior has led to the removal of law and boundaries and rules and regulations in society in many in in many countries, in many societies. And and step by step this world and it has led to more and more terrible behavior that directly is a threat to the health, the humanity, the generosity, the honor, the nobility, the dignity, the dignity, 
the ratification and the goodness of people in society as we know it. Right? So how could it be that they claim that this terrible culture you know, of homosexuality to be in the circle or in, in, to be included in freedom and in rights right? when it is oppressive to society as a whole, especially to the innocent younger members of society, our young children, who are growing up in this and confused by what they are seeing? This is an op- direct oppression and onto the youngest members, the younger, more innocent men- members of society who are the children. And so, this matter requires, you know, this matter requires deep observation and study from every person of intellect and deep sight and inner sight, right, to not just follow blindly and to support blindly and to copy blindly, you know, all of what of what these these people are propagating just because their voices are very loud that's not meaning that they are correct that is very loud right but 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 look at this situation and look at how this will destroy society as a whole and destroy humanity as a whole and in fact just to just to give an, an example he says right, in fact that the matter of the desires of men are of many types right? this is this is just one type of of human you know human lowly desires the desires of 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 of, of um, of, of what is sexual, right? But but there are many other types of desires that human beings have, and 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 we know just from just from some intellects, you would know that that it is not possible to allow for each person to seek whatever they desire. It is not possible that they will they will lead, they will spell destruction in society. You can't allow for every single person to 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 go after whatever they desire. You can't you can't have that. You know, they will, they, will, they will bring about the destruction of the economy, it will bring about the destruction of uh, of stability and peace. It will bring about the destruction of family. Uh, if anyone were to do whatever it is desired, uh, they will bring about you know, a whole load of of problems and destruction. Right. So otherwise, right. So 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 uh, and 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 so it's not possible to allow for each person to seek whatever they desire in the claim that this is freedom of choice. It is not. Uh, you have, you don't have the freedom of choice when what you're doing is going to lead to harm. And 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 all of these things will lead to harm because there is no benefit. It will lead to harm, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has informed us right, to not go here because Allah knows of the ter- the terrible harm that it will bring to human beings. So otherwise, you know, if 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 you want to open up the door of saying, okay, whatever you desire, whatever makes you happy, go for it. If you want to open up this door, then 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 uh, where's the limit? And then then those who desire, like for example, those who desire loads of wealth, they can just go out and just take whatever the wealth they want to take. Uh, they want to just you know they, they they want to take the wealth from other people or attack other people, right? Because they have a they have a desire and it's their right to 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 enjoy all these things that they want to enjoy. Right? Is it and, and is it a right for them to just go and 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 uh and abuse you know and harm other people? And these people were just doing just that. The people of Nabilut, right? They were doing just that. They were just they were just feeding their desires. The human beings going around feeding their their, their lower desires is all they were doing. Right? They are worse than animals. Right? These desires had overtaken them, and so they were transgressing all boundaries and they were oppressing others, especially uh, in their sexual desires and lusts. Right? And and this steered them far away from what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has sent as guidance to human beings. In, in 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 marriage and in family in what is healthy right, to be in which there is benefit and goodness and health and progress right the guidance that, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to human beings with regards to their sexual desires right it is uh, it, it, it and, and if it is placed in, on the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's placed in this correct position of marriage you know and family then this will bring about benefits and overall an overall all-encompassing benefit to society you bring about happiness and love which is to be expressed in the most beautiful way right and to lead to the most beautiful re- results of good progeny to who, who, will ha- who, will, who will stand up and who will spread goodness through the land and it is and and in this 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 guided way of of that Allah has given us on how to express our our sexual needs in this guided way that is chastity there, there is, there's modesty and there is chastity and there is good etiquette, there is good manners, there is adab, right? there is purity and there is cleanliness. And this is the sharia, this is sacred law. Sacred law brings all that is good and all that is beneficial. And this is the ultimate goal of the, of the sacred law. The, 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 the sharia preserves society, it preserves all that is good, it preserves all that is beneficial. It does. 
and whatever goes against the Sharia, then it it will, it will definitely, without any doubt, cause for the destruction of society and the destruction of human beings, uh, of uh, uh, to an extent that we can ne- that we cannot imagine, and we cannot understand. Hence, the Sharia, and we see that the, the, the secret law will never allow for zina. And no matter what human beings want to say that is between two consensual uh, uh, human beings, the Sharia will never allow for it. Right? And nor will the Sharia ever allow for liwat. And liwat will be meaning sodomy you know, or homosexuality. Right? Uh, uh, there, are, there are of the homosexuals out there right, that, uh, that claim that homosexual behavior is permissible. No, it is not permissible in any, in any form or any way. Right? And, 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 they will, and, and this is, this, this, the Sharia will never allow for it right, ever from the time of Nabi Adam alayhi salam, when he was sent down till the end of time. Right? It will never be allowed because it brings about destruction. It will never be allowed as it is harmful, it is ugly, it is disgusting, it is terrible, it is horrendous, it is filthy. It is all that is against the Sharia. It is all that is against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants for us. And if zina and liwat, and zina meaning fornication, and liwat meaning sodomy, were to be spread, it would definitely lead, it would definitely lead to the corruption of the body and mind and emotions and humanity and society and family. Right, in destroying all of these things and destroying happiness and stability and goodness and growth right, that, is, that is in society and in family. And by that, Nabi Lut says to his people, do you, go, do, uh, do, do you go to a lewdness? Do you go to an indecency? Right? Do you go to such acts that nobody before you has ever done? Do, you, do, you, do men go to men in sexual desire? Uh, and and you do not go to your woman, right? For surely you are a society that has transgressed all boundaries. Uh, you your people who are completely transgressing and completely disobedient. And the people responded, right, in the verse, and and they responded by saying, "Get them out of this of our town, for indeed these are people who want to purify themselves." And they said so in the form of mockery and in, in the form of 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 um, disdain for Nabi, Nabi Lut and his people and his followers, right? And here we see clearly that when the nafs, when the desires, you know, the, 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 when, when, the, when the desires and the lusts are obeyed, right? And, and that lusts have overtaken the, ma- the mind of men, right? has overtaken the intellect of men, the mind of men, then what is good is made to be bad and what is bad is made to be good, right? The, 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 the nafs can teach the human being to, to flip the whole thing around right? and to make what is righteous and what is pure to be ugly to, to be ugly and to be distant and they will make what is ugly and, and, and disgusting to be desired and to be um, righteous they will flip the whole thing around so the righteous are made to be villains and those who are villains are made to be righteous everything is made to be opposite once the nafs controls the mind and this is called and, and, and so those calling to goodness and to guidance are now here to be distanced and expelled as we are seeing right now in our world today it, the same thing is happening and they and so they mocked. Right? They mocked Nabi 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 Lut and his people by calling them those who want to be pure. And 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 the fact of the matter is, Subhanallah. Look at look at this. Right? Even in their own tyranny, even in their own disobedience, even in their own in their own um, sick behavior, right? That they, they still call the people of purity people of purity. They can still recognize that what they are doing is filthy. They can recognize that that what they are doing is completely filthy, right? And 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 that the people who are against it, they are the people who are pure, right? and and they can't dis- they are not able to describe Nabi Lut and his people in any other way except saying that these are the people who want to be purified, right? Meaning they they, they know that they are and so they, they mean that this 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 uh, people of Nabi Lut they know that they are on filth, right? they know that they are on filth. And and, and, and and the fact of the matter is that we know that by right, those who are on filth and those who are on transgression, they are the ones who should be expelled, right? not those who are, who are pure. But and, 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 and those who are pure, they are pure because they refuse to get involved right, in what is degrading on a human being, right, in the sodomy that, that, that these people were, were engaged in. Right, they were mocking, but, but in their mockery of Nabi Lut and the followers of Nabi Lut, right, they said what was true, what was correct. These are people who want to be, who want to be pure. They refuse. Uh, they refuse to engage in this kind of um, terrible sexual behavior that these people of of Sodom and Gomorrah uh, were doing. And and, and 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 again, you know, in, in later on episodes in in the in, story, in, in true stories, right, will come to other parts of the Quran where Allah actually um, uh, tells us the stories of or, or 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains for us you know, what, is, what exactly happened when the angels came to Nabi Lut to inform Nabi Lut that, his pe- that the people will be destroyed. And inshallah, as, as this will come you know, with, the, with the following um, seasons. And not, it's not, not, not this particular season, but in the following seasons. And so Allah says to Nabi Lut and his uh, to Nabi Lut, Right, that Allah says, and, and so Allah says in the Quran that Allah has saved Lut, right, and his people, right, meaning his 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 followers. Allah has saved Lut and his ahl, his ahl, uh, meaning his family, and the family of Nabi Lut uh, consists of his daughters and the believing people. Very few believing people in the in society had followed Nabi Lut. Uh, all of them except his wife, as Allah says in the Quran, except his wife. His wife was treacherous, right? and she was, and she betrayed Nabi Lut, and her betrayal was in disbelief, right? Meaning she had no iman in her, and she had taken on the way of disbelief. Like her treachery and her, uh, her treachery and her and her betrayal is not in a way is is not from the angle of. Uh, fidelity because it is not possible for prophets that their wives cheat on them. Right? So that's that's not that's not possible for prophets. Allah will not allow for that for prophets. Right? But her her treachery and her and her betrayal was on the part of Iman. Right? That she was disbelieving and she would help the disbelievers and the corruptors uh, on their corruption. Right? So she was assisting them. Right? She was assisting them in what she was doing and she was the one who had put out an indication when the angels came to Nabi Lut and the angels came as in the form of very handsome young men. Right? She was the one who had informed the people that Nabi Lut had some guests right, who were very handsome young men. And the people came running to the house of Nabi Lut in, in, in complete you know, obsession and possession of their nafs right? in desiring the young men in the house of Nabi Lut um, um if, of course to which Nabi Lut um Nabi Lut tried to try to reason with his people right, but they refused and they wanted the young men and, the, and of course the angels told Nabi Lut that we are angels and they can't get to us and that these people will be destroyed before the morning and or, or in the morning and the morning is very near. And it was said right that um there were four towns, right, that the the people of Nabi Lut there were four towns altogether. There were four towns that were there, right? And they were in the hundreds of thousands altogether. Right? The hundreds of thousands of homosexuals. Every person in these four towns that were destroyed, every single one of them was a homosexual. Every single one of them. Right? Each town had about 100,000 people in each town. So about 400,000 people Right in this entire you know uh, community of human beings, right four hundred thousand, only only like less than a handful, uh, believe in Nabi Nabi Lut and followed Nabi Lut thereafter, right including his daughters, right but more than four hundred thousand people, right were people of of homosexual behavior and homosexual you know uh, uh, practices that they that they were up to, men and women both. Right, there were the men would go to the men and the women would go to the women. Right, so they, so, they, so it was it was it was um homosexual, you know, on both genders. Right, so 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 if those if people were to say, then why did Allah destroy all of them? Right, when it was just the men who were going to the men, and what about the women? How come they were also destroyed? You no, know, the answer is the women were also doing it with other women. Right, so the women were also seeking sexual sexual pleasures from other women. And the men were seeking sexual pleasures from other men, and it was a completely corrupt, disgusting society that that Nabi Lut was sent to, um, to call them right, to righteousness and to uprightness and to and to what is natural that Allah has placed in them. But they refused the call of Nabi Lut, and eventually the angels came to Nabi Lut and took Nabi Lut to leave the town, uh, before the morning, right, because in the morning the punishment will come. And so Nabi Lut left with his people. They were told not to look back. Right? They were told to walk out of the town, not to look back. And Nabi Lut told his told his uh, his family and the believers to walk out and do not look back. But his wife looks back because his wife had love for his people. Right? His wife had love for the corruptors and for the transgressors. He, she had love for them. Right? And so she looked back and she was cast in stone. As you can find her picture, there, 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 is, a, there is an image of her on, on online. You can find the wife of Nabi Lut, right? She is at the, um, at, at the cliff, right, uh, overlooking the Dead Sea. It is said that Nabi Lut's people, um, they are under the Dead Sea. Eh? They are they are beneath the Dead Sea. How far beneath Allah Alam? But they are actually beneath the Dead Sea. What happened was that, uh, it's in the Tafsir, 
uh, Allah so when 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 the punishment was to come to them, Allah commanded Jibril right, to go to them, and Jibril with one wing, <laughs> with one of his wings, um, Jibril uh, 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 lifted the entire four towns of four hundred thousand plus people. He lifted the earth, you know that they were on, eh? and he so he basically he scooped them, he scooped them up. With his with his wings, Jibril, uh, he scooped up the four towns, right? With his with one wing, and uh, he lifted them up, up high to the to the very edge of the sky of this earth. It means high into the atmosphere. Right? Jibril lifted them up, then he flipped them on themselves. Right? He flipped them over, as Allah says, in, as, as Allah says in Surah Hud, that Allah made the, the the top of the town bottom and the bottom top because they were flipped. Right, they were flipped, right? And so when they flipped, when they, when when Jibril flipped them, uh, alayhi salam, when he flipped them, the soil that they were on became stones raining down on them. You can imagine, eh? Right, so the normal when they flipped, and right, now they are falling, and and the soil that they are on are stones raining down on them, and the stones were hot, uh, fire stones that Allah has created, right? And and they were all pelted, and they were all stoned to death. Right and and Allah says and this is punishment is not far for those who are oppressors, those who do the same, as people of Nabi Lut. Right, that that, that punishment is not far from them. Allah can punish them. Allah can seize them at any moment, at any time. Right, so this is the punishment, and it's from this story of Nabi Lut. Right, that that some of the scholars and the companions right took the ruling of what is the punishment on those who commit the who commit the crime of sodomy of liwat which is and and the, and the punishment is rajam uh, rajam meaning to be stoned to death uh, so those who are married they are stoned to death uh, if they were to be engaged in the um in the in the uh, in the practice of liwat uh, the practice of sodomy uh, they are to be stoned and Sayyidina ali and others gave the ruling of stoning on liwat is like that on, of zina in fact, of adultery, and in fact, in the world, right, which is sodomy, is even worse, right, because it goes against Sharia and it goes against nature in itself. Right, so the curse of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is on those who do it. This is a dangerous consequence, right, and you see the consequence on these criminals. And Allah uh, 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 ends the, the story of Nabi Lut by saying, "Look, I right, look at the result. I right, look so look." At the result of those of these criminals, right? So never, ever, ever choose some small, tiny moments of enjoyment, um, just to face the punishment for eternity thereafter, right? Some moments of just you know small moments of enjoyment in this world, small moments of 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 pleasure in this world. Do not choose the small moments, um, in 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 uh in in place of of eternal salvation. Right, that you that people want to have some small moments, short moments of sexual pleasure in this world, and then to have eternal eternal damnation or eternal punishment. Wala and the punishment that you cannot handle, the harm and destruction in this world and the hereafter. The one of intelligence will leave a few moments of enjoyment for the sake of eternal enjoyment that they want in the hereafter. The fool is the one who does the opposite, who chooses a few moments of enjoyment, right, and they forsake uh, an eternal pleasure or enjoyment in the hereafter, and they were destroyed. And so, and look, and so look and learn, right, from the story of these people, the people of Nabi Lut. Look and learn, you know, uh, as as what has what is the consequence of those who go against the laws of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and those who go against the laws of nature. These people were criminals. Allah punished them, both men and women. They were all homosexuals, so Allah destroyed all of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guard and protect us from every crime and make us upright and continuous on guidance, firm on whatever He loves from us in all that we approach and make our desires follow exactly whatever the best of creation the Prophet ﷺ has brought. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfirullah. Nas'anika al-jannata wa na'udhu bika minan nar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfirullah. Nas'anika al-jannata wa na'udhu bika minan nar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfirullah. نسألك الجنة ونعوذ بك من النار اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو 
فاعفو عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعفو عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعفو عنا جزا الله سيدنا محمد عنا خيرا جزا الله سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم عنا خيرا جزا الله سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم عنا خيرا يا التواب توب علينا وارحمنا وانزور إلينا يا التواب توب علينا وسامحنا فيما جنينا يا التواب توب علينا واغفر لنا ولوالدين ولوالدينا يا الله سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته